This is Rustcar5956, and I want to try War of the Jin Insane Plus on Dungeon Defenders for Xbox 360. Now, this is not the hardest challenge in the game, but it's one of them. One of the hardest. Um, so, if you're going to try this, you want to start as Squire. Like, as soon as you start off the mission. Otherwise, you might not have time to build. Uh, man. Now... I have a very specific build that I use. It's gone through quite a few major changes. By quite a few, I mean a lot. <laughs> Yeah, this is my 13th try, so I'm kind of tired. This is like my fifth time today. Each try takes about 40 minutes. So, yeah, put that together and that's over three hours of attempts. And, um... Anyway, so... Yeah, my build's hopefully gonna work this time around. Oh, jeez. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. Anyway, so I have somewhat of a good idea what to talk about in this. Um. So the first thing is, yes, I do use glitches. If you don't consider any glitch legit, then if you consider all glitches non-legit, then alrighty then. Good for you. I actually have a good amount of self-respect for you. If you consider one or two glitches non-legit and not the rest of them, then I'm seriously wondering why. If you consider one legit, you need to consider less, the rest of them legit. That being said, there is one glitch that I won't do on this that is a steel glitch, and that's because, well, it's the steel glitch. It's just not... It's just not something that's good to do. Um, and I think it's just for the simple factor of, it's wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, I've tried this way too many times. <laughs> I've been getting a lot faster at collecting chests, though. I think I also just found a better way to do it. Also, I was being stupid and trying to place that. Any, anything else? Yeah, whatever. And now I gotta switch character. Yeah, 13 tries, and this is. Uh, the build phase is starting to get re kind of repetitive. I mean, the entire thing, I guess, is kind of repetitive. The thing is, is that it's hard enough and has enough randomness to it to where I actually have fun with it. Um, part of the reason why I use as many glitches as I do, such as keep hitting my armor characters is just because of the sheer amount of time that it takes to get stuff. Now well, my friends keep telling me, you know, if I had not been using so many glitches, I'd actually get good stuff, and that's just not the case. Because, one, I've been getting better stuff, two, what does that have to do with anything? Now, yes, I know, it has to do with, you know, luck and stuff like that, but, ah, uh, that's just superstition. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, <laughs> I don't believe in superstition. I mean, I'll call things luck a bit, but to be honest, I don't think it's 
an actual course of luck. I'm just calling it luck, because it's more of, like, talking about randomness. Okay, so this lamp, when stuff comes out of it, with the defensive stuff there, it can insta kill stuff. And, uh, this is something you gotta be weird of. Like, seriously, gotta watch. Why did it go all the way over here from there? What? Yeah, I still got a bit of understanding to go for, for this map. Like, seriously though, why does it do that? I don't understand. I have... Yeah, that's not a very good start. Ha Losing track of one of them. Jeez. Okay, apparently it was over here somewhere. That's not the direction I remember seeing it go. Uh, yeah, they don't go exactly where the purple line tells them that you they're going unless they're close enough to a lamp. And go to the said lamp. So if they go halfway across the map, they go halfway across the map to one of several locations. And I don't know how to actually tell which location it is. Um, I'm, I might try this co-op once I beat it solo. Um, just to compare the differences and difficulty. Now, this wave, I just gotta get a few things down. You know what? Nah, I'll, I'll test without that. Uh, if I fail this run, I'll test what it'd be like without that. Maybe like a no, whatever it would be, it would cost more to use, so, eh, I guess it's not really worth it. Well, actually, no, I could put, put a uh, gas trap in the middle instead, because um, I normally use an inferno trap there. I'm going to use an inferno trap down this way as well, because it seems to work really well. Oh boy, I'm not forgetting that again. <laughs> Oh man, I forgot the ores here one time and I felt so stupid for doing that. Like, it ended up being a run I had to scrap anyways because of background noise, but still. I was like, jeez. Like, seriously though, like, how do you forget the wyvern protection? Like, uh, I felt so stupid when I did that. Uh, no matter. Now, on to- nope, that is foodie, that is. Um, one of the glitches that I use is that glitch. Now, I don't- I only use that glitch in a way and to where I don't have to redo it every time. Because if I had to redo it every time, then showing other people how to do this wouldn't really be something that they'd like. Um, but what's not am fine with redoing every time I have to try it is the um, wave skip glitch, because the thing is is that if you actually learn how to do that on your console, then you can do it pretty easily every single time. Again, granted, you learn how. Um, <clears throat> for the most part, it seems like you need to push X and then and then spam start, that's what I found to be the most comfortable with it, um, but it still needs to be near enough to it. Okay, so another thing I don't think I mentioned first wave is you want to start by this card this time. And the reason for that is because you're most mobile starting by this carpet. What the? Okay. Okay, now that, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, yeah, sometimes RNG can be a bitch. Me? 
I can't find them. Okay, here's one. Okay, good thing I got rid of that right away. I swear, if it's selling my other bowling balls. Oh, they were upgraded. Okay, yeah, that was R&D working against me from the friendly genies. Yeah, that's right, your friendly genies can work against you. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, mmm. Uh, I thought about actually just building everything at the crystals, but the problem with that is the middle spot, and jeez, this is a bad run. I didn't know that they could spawn this badly. Jeez. Okay, well. Um, I don't, jeez, but yeah, your friendly genies can work very much against you if they upgrade the wrong things, as shown there. I've never had that happen that badly. Okay, apparently there's more stuff up to R&D with this than I thought, jeez. Yeah, you really have to hope for the dice roll in your favor, because, like, I don't know what else to do. Also, how? How? Yeah, you can probably tell that I've never, never, never had anything that bad happen when playing this. Like, I've had stuff almost that bad happen. But it was always on later waves. So, like, when there's like 13 mobs, or 13 unis, which is wave 10, or 17 on wave 11. Actually, I've never done 17 with, <laughs> or wave 11 with 17 mobs. I've always screwed it up and have. Uh, I've always screwed it up trying to wave skip on wave 11, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so right here I'm going to place a magic blockade. Right here I'm going to place a magic blockade. So then the one last spot that I need to... Oh yeah, the one- wait. Yeah, the one last spot that I need magic lock it down where the stuff just died. <sighs> Cause there's really nowhere else to put that. And now I'm gonna switch to my mage and repair. That middle area. Actually... No, I already got it down there, okay. Okay, cool. And now the luck decides to be on my side. And again, I don't think a luck is actually a thing. Or not like a supernatural thing or anything. Thing like that. I think that luck is just like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of just like saying, like, hope the chances are on your side, I guess. Okay, I know where that one went. Oh, cool. Almost died there. Oh, two out of six. That's cool. One's right there. 
this one went that way ish. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, well, I gotta get over there quickly. I, my, uh, last failed run was, or, oh no, it was from a, wait, what was my last failed run from? No, it was from a little bit of everything. Um. Uh, that spot's a little bit safer to let it sit for a couple of seconds, but I'm just gonna be safe and get it. Oh good, I got that one. Yeah, that's an instant kill spot. Ah, <clears throat> oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, I've gotten a lot better at jumping on that thing. That is not easy to jump on. Yeah, um... Yeah, so... Anyway, so... You know, I have a lot less of a problem with modded stuff than I used to, but I don't know. I don't touch modded stuff, so that's what I consider non-legit is modded stuff like hex mods and all that stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, jeez, I'm tired. I swear, this ends up being the run that makes it. I'm gonna be mad because like <laughs> this is my worst commentary like besides the first two times trying when I didn't really know what to say. Um so I'm actually uh Oh yeah, you don't really wanna collect chests here because they're uh the chest loot isn't really that good. It, for challenges in general, it's like that. Like I found um worn and cursed items on um <laughs> And Saint Plus middle of need, so but that's not saying something. I don't know what it is, but that aside, um, <laughs> I was I played on Aquinos with my uh, friend Colin or one day. Uh, I'm actually in this team. We call it Team CD. Uh, it used to stand for Community Development, but I said we should change it to stand for Chris Team Chris Blind. I mentioned because that's our end goal for Dungeon Defenders. And uh, he's like, sure. <laughs> also because that made a lot more sense. Uh, he tried recreating um, a bunch of events with Hex, but eh, didn't really do too much with that. I actually helped him out. I was actually in one of them that he hosted, but I eventually just gave him the item back because I was like, uh, you know, event items are already kind of at a gray line between legit and not legit. They're like kind of in between. They're technically legit, but they're technically modded. So, yeah. Uh, I said, but that's only if they're official ones. If it's one that somebody made, then it's definitely not legit. So I told him, you know, they weren't overpowered either, but I still told him, you know what, you should take this back, because, uh, it's, it's technically not legit, and I don't really want to keep it. I had that, it was, it was called, like, Blue or something like that. <laughs> he doesn't have Hex anymore, though. Although, some other kid that I play with does, and, uh, he actually hexed things for him. And then he lied about it, when I asked him about it, and then he traded some of the stuff and lied about it, saying it was legit. And all sorts of stuff like that. Ooh boy, I'm I was pissed off about that. Like I am a very chill person, alright. But when you have like three different things that trigger you, 
and passed out hex stuff. He lied about having it. And not only that, but he also stole stuff off of me. Like, I'd be fine with him duplicating stuff off of me. Uh, Colander said that people shouldn't do that in the team, though. He doesn't want people to. But, you know, I'd be fine with... Is that thing confused? Oh, okay, that's how it goes. You know, I'd be fine with him doing that as long as he told me. But he did it without telling me multiple times. Like, I know how to keep people from stealing my stuff, how to keep my characters from being stealable. But seriously, though, like, do you know how annoying that is? And then you have your weapon go out in circulation. And it's just, and then you get kids thinking you're stealing from them. Like, it's just. Ugh! I have three things that trigger me. If it was just one of those things, I'd be like, okay, whatever. But, yeah. Just because I don't feel like being a douche and I'm not gonna say the kid's actual name or name or tag or anything like that. But, okay, that's already over there. But, I mean, like. Okay, that has got to be the luckiest time that I've had with those guys. Normally, if I do that, like, it's kind of a gamble, to be honest. Like, if you fuel after a lamp when there's a genie at your defenses. Because it's kind of placing everything on the line saying, I hope it's buffing a monster. That isn't a wyvern. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, well. Cool, I was afraid this entire run would be like a really bad one. Nope, it's actually turning around. Although this is only wave 8, I always pass wave 8. Um. <laughs> okay, that's a leading spot and. I know where he went. Okay, now I'm just waiting for the last one to spawn. Nice. Okay, that means I can repair down here too. Okay, he went up, oh, and slightly sideways it looks like. Again, the line can be very much off sometimes. And when I say slightly sideways, I mean like very slightly. I should actually move the uh, proxy knight forward there. I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't pop out of the lamp. That's why I'm watching the screen of the map. Here he is. So, most areas, with the exception of like one lamp, you can quickly get over to areas and repair it with overcharge. Wave 9! This is the wave that I've lost on, like, the least, I want to say. Then again, it's only wave 9, so losing on it is kind of embarrassing. I have done that before, though. Um, although, it was only really my first attempt at this. Very first attempt, I lost on wave 9. Doing it solo, anyways. First attempt in total for this insane plus, I actually lost wave 11. And that was with my friend Colin there helping me. Second time, I did it with my friend Cobra, and we also made it to wave 11. So, yeah. It was actually... I think the... I don't remember if I did it with Cobra after or before I did my first run solo, but yeah. <laughs> um, 
Oh, that's right. I was gonna move that forward. Okay, there we go. That'll, that'll get a lot more hits down on it. Um, but yeah. Stupid kid I was talking about earlier. I'm the person who got him in the team, too. Like, I'm so pissed off about that. Like, oh man. Like, call him out. He's the leader of the team. And uh, he told me, hey, this kid ain't legit. And I was like, I thought he was because he knew all the lamp locations for Morago. But, alas, it meant nothing. Anyways, though. Okay, cool, I can see that spot. Yeah, the reason why I kept going for that lamp just now was because the gym is far enough away from everything that I don't think I should be able to get stuff back up. Okay, I know where that went. But, yeah, basically you have to make a lot of really quick decisions on whether or not you're going to rub a lamp or wait till you kill a genie. So now I just want to go by the magic carpet and wait for the next genie to spawn. So it's they're technically called gins, but the game actually calls the weapons genie staff, the genie uh, shard staff. So um, I'm going to guess that a gin is probably just a specific kind of genie. Um, I'm not sure. I, I'll have to look that up. That would be something interesting, you know? Jeez, they're all spawning down here. Oh, good thing I caught that was actually going that way. Sometimes it's hard to see which way it's actually going, so... Yeah, see, that, that should have gone outside the map if it was actually going on the way that its line was showing. So... Yeah, not the same as one. What? Oh jeez, this isn't good. And the, re the reason why I say this isn't good is because everything down here is gonna get upgraded and this is normally how I die. And stuff down here getting sold. <laughs> Okay. I should be able to find the other one for before now. Okay, I'm going for that one first though, because that one's closer. I think it's a lot better to just go for them if they're nearby you, even if there's another one to go for really quickly. Uh, not really quickly. If there's another one to go for across the map and kill one, and you know exactly where it goes, let's just go ahead and get that one so that you know where it's at. like right next to you so even if you know yeah <laughs> uh, yeah I've been at this for way too long now okay Nine. but yeah um yeah we've dying for the first attempt actually was really good in my opinion um, any other attempt, though, it's bad. Uh, so. Okay, it's just gonna repair this stuff real quick. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to replace some of these auras so that they don't get sold. Specifically the ones for wyvern protection. 
Uh, no, actually, I don't think it matters. I'll just get upgraded again instead of a mine. Uh, I'll just chance it, I guess. Hopefully, this is the last wave I have to do all the way through, because I'm going to attempt the wave skip next wave. If I beat this. <laughs> Although, if it gets uploaded, then that means I've beaten it. So. I already put up a failed run. And, uh, yeah. There's definitely going to be a noticeable difference between then and now. Especially the time difference. Like, I've cut this, I've cut this down way, way, way down. It, um, it used to be at like 40 minutes at the, or no, never mind, it's 40, it was normally 40 minutes at the next wave, so never mind. Okay, um, yeah, um, surprisingly, mages don't actually come out for a while. I'm pretty sure that I've seen mages with two players, but I can't be certain. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Ogres, on the other hand, don't actually come out on this map except for, like, one wave if you have three players. And I don't remember what that is. It's not wave 12, it's, like, wave 6 or 7 or something like that. Might be wave 8. One of those three waves. Oh, man. I definitely have a lot more time to do this, though, with the, uh, coronavirus crap going around. You know, having to stay home and all that. So, yeah, rubbing the lamps, though, in time is a little bit of a priority. Because you can have two genies out at the same time. If they end up getting out of the lamp. Okay, so I'm gonna keep searching for that first one. Of course. Yeah, it's going for the wyvern defenses. Ah, I'm getting stuck. I think it'll be fastest for when I can attack it if I go down this way. Oh my goodness. That was lucky as hell. Jeez, okay, and then that one spawns. Nice. Okay, that's not very nice. It's going up. That means that they're gonna keep upgrading. Oh, okay, nope. It's right here. On my way up there. Yeah, um... Oh, cool, he went after that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you just gotta hope and pray that you get the genies spawning in good places for you. It's not really that any spawn is better than the other. To be honest, it's probably better if they spawn all over the place, as long as you can actually find things. Um, now I'm gonna focus on standing by this thing until the next genie spawns. Okay, come on, Jin. Okay, cool. He's spawned in a good location for this carpet as well. Okay, up. I think I'm most worried about stuff getting sold up top. Oh, and also right there where there's the other, um, thing. Okay, I gotta get her. Go take care of that. 
Now, if I'm lucky, he'll sell the proxy. If he sells anything. Actually, if I'm lucky, because he yapped. That would actually be good in this scenario. Okay, cool. That one's down there. That means I can actually look for number 8. Or, I guess it was technically number 7. Yep, there's number 7. But they slammed rub stuff. Okay, this is a spot where I don't want stuff killed. Mm, darn. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I heard it a little bit. Uh, I would turn up my volume for this, but to be honest, it's not enough of a help, and also then you guys wouldn't be able to hear my voice. So, um, eh, it is what it is. Oh wait, hold on, I could have turned up my volume not for Obia, or not Obia, um, my capture card though. Jeez. That was something extremely good to have happen. Okay, so I have, what, an Inferno Trap and some sort of order to replace? Inferno Trap and Electric Core. Nope, there's more than two Inferno Traps and an Electric Core. Okay. So, I'm gonna get this one first. Just because of the return mount. This is also where the Electric Core is added. Okay, we're not. <laughs> uh, I think it would have taken about the same amount of time. So. This better not come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, just for the sake of saving time, because I still gotta repair it, and then I gotta try and wave skip, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and my electric car down. But, yeah, this gets harder the further you go through it, so. Oh, it's gotta be fun, huh? And the reason why is because you can't just replace everything that's been upgraded. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm at about the same amount of mana, or time that I normally am. 40 minutes to get to this wave. Yeah, I have multiple hours on this map now. Okay, and 
Okay, now to turn on my other controller. Yes, I know, I'm doing it like this. Oh no, but oh well. Oh my goodness. I actually got it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh my goodness. I actually did it. I actually did it. Yes. Okay, so that one isn't actually going to do something super helpful for me. Besides just have a friendly genie down, but hey, it's better than nothing. Yeah, see, now there's mages. And that is what the point of the inferno traps are. Uh... Okay, I gotta get it down there. Come on. Okay, good. It sold what I wanted it to. But yeah, all the lamps after like one or two should be uh, correct lamps. From, and not from the wave skip. Okay, well, there's two down there. Okay, that's good. Shoot. Okay, that's bad. Okay, up a little bit. This one is going that way. Okay, that one wasn't real. one was okay mm, I have one more I thought it was that one. Oh shoot. Okay, wait, hold on, that one's an easy one. Yes! I beat it! Oh my goodness, that took so long! Oh my goodness! Oh, okay, time to check out the Genie King Start staff. Uh, 34. Kind of what I expected to get, to be honest. <sighs> oh, jeez. Oh, man, finally. Yoink. Oh, wow. Okay, three, only 4,000 enemies were killed? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, oh man, and 43 minutes, too. I could have gotten two if I actually signed in the other character, but whatever. Jeez, okay, now I'll show my total statistics for that.
statistics such as that. Yeah. Uh, I'm fully legit. I have played with mods before, but that was way back in 2016. So. Yeah, it's been a while. Alrighty then. So, here are my statistics for that map. Um, here it is. All time statistics. Total kills. 56,000. I've only done this three times in normal insane. Given that I got underneath 4,000 kills with a successful run of that, uh, that really says a lot. Um, yeah, total defense is repaired 1,043. And you saw how little I was able to repair stuff. Defense is built 903. Yeah. Uh, 205 destroyed. Sold 37. I don't know what that's about. Oh, uh, I know what the harpoons are about. That was one of my runs. I have a really troubling time during uh, build phase. Total chests open 328 and total time 4 hours and 48 minutes. Only an hour of that is from like regular insane. That's... I, just, I don't think even an hour of that is from regular insane. Because we wave skipped complete regular insane and did it really quickly. Yeah. Yeah, um... <laughs> Well, I guess that's... Oh, I guess I better show my... Yeah, so... Yeah, that's more than the normal amount that you can get, but I don't have to reapply it every time. Uh, I'm not going to teach people how to do that because it does use the ceiling glitch. <laughs> uh, this guy... This, 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 yep. And then I got... Didn't use him. He's legit though, I swear. If I use him, I'll show you. But, okay, this. I'm gonna be replacing that once I can. Uh, Colin Edgar gave it to me and he wants me to find a replacement for it, so. <sighs> That's gonna be hard to do though. Whatever. I'm sure I'll find one eventually. Hopefully sooner than later. I don't want that thing to get bad. Yeah, uh, actually, the armor is the same between them, and so is the giraffes. So I guess really all I got to do is show the uh, pet. Well, the, they're named differently, but the duplicated stuff. Uh, okay, so I'm not completely sure if this is legit. I've had the people who traded it with me swear up and down it's legit over and over again. I've had Colin there tell me it's legit, which is less trustable now, but he generally knows when stuff is legit and when it isn't. Um, it is made by the dude that I don't really trust though that's why I say I'm not sure there's this guy stuff when of all oculus I got that from call editor I traded for this armor so and I got this from Amer er, yeah uh, yeah um, I have gotten 100 plus drafts before though so I could have just duplicated one for him after farting for that uh, I was actually about to and then I was just given that so that one wasn't even from me asking for it. That was just given to me. And then this guy. <sighs> yeah, I really need to find a replacement helmet. <laughs> and just because I have two of these guys and I might as well show it. This is the same, 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 this is the same. And yeah, that's it. So, uh, that's all for now. I'll see you guys on another video. Probably another, uh, Insane Plus Challenge, or maybe an Insane Plus, uh, Pure Strat playthrough. Well, whatever it is, this is, that, this was Rust Carp, and, uh, it's a pleasure doing this. <laughs>